You ain't driving, are you? I steer a little, but the ranger do my sword. <laughs> this is my fourth year as a center. How about you? I started the whole damn thing. Oh, oh, oh! So I just saw the movie Violent Night. For those of you who don't know, Violent Night is a movie. It just came out. As of the recording of this video, it came out yesterday. It's a movie about Santa killing a bunch of armed, like, terrorist burglar type people. It's directed by the same guy that made Nobody and Bullet Train. Now, I didn't see Bullet Train, but I did see Nobody, and I liked it a lot. I thought it was a very, very fun, campy, goofy action movie, and I had a lot of fun watching it. And it has, as Santa, David Harbour. Of course, he plays Hopper in Stranger Things, and he's just about the only thing I like about Stranger Things. So going into this movie, I had a lot of high expectations. And as I walked out of the theater, I was glad to feel that all of my expectations and hopes were either met or exceeded. It was a very good movie, a very fun movie. I think it should be considered a contender for one of the best movies to come out this year. But I don't think a lot of um, like mainstream critics will agree with that sentiment. However, before I start talking about why I like this movie so much, there were some things I didn't like as much. There are some negatives, unfortunately, but because the negatives are so greatly outweighed by the positives, I think I'll get the negatives out of the way first. Just, just talk about them real quick, get them out of the way. Number one, the biggest one, I think the pacing was a little bit weird in some places. Some scenes felt like they went on for too long. Some scenes went on not long enough, but for the most part, it wasn't too bad. It didn't completely throw me off. I was able to comfortably keep up with what was happening. And that's, that's really, all you should need from a movie at the end of the day, especially a movie like this that's not taking itself seriously at all. Now, I would love to show some examples, but obviously the movie, like I said, as of recording this, it is December 3rd, 2022, and the movie only came out on the 2nd of December, 2022. So the movie hasn't hit streaming or uh, VOD yet, it's only in theaters, so I can only show footage from the trailer. That being said, the only other really like noticeable negative for this movie for me, the only one worth bringing up was that some of the actors felt a little out of place in that this movie, of course, is not taking itself seriously at all. This director, his other movies, Nobody, Bullet Train, they're not taking themselves seriously at all. And that's all well and good. That's the point of this kind of movie. But some of these actors, there seemed to be a few of them, not major characters, mind you, but a few of them were chewing the scenery a little too much. There was this one villain character who went by the codename Krampus, if I'm remembering correctly. And he had a lot of funny moments. He was a very entertaining character, but there were a few lines that I, it just didn't do it to me. They were a little too much. They were a little too off the campy deep end for me. But then there were a few other villainous characters, mostly the bad guys, the, uh, the terrorist burglar type villains that are in this movie that weren't doing enough. They were just too serious, no jokes, nothing really entertaining happening around them. They were just kind of there. No one important, no one major. So it's not a big deal. With those two out of the way, now I can talk about the positives of which there are many, many, but I'll try and keep this uh, mostly short. David Harbour as Santa, is one of the best comedic performances I've seen in a movie in a very long time. He's absolutely just having a blast. He's doing a great job. A lot of his delivery, all of his delivery, honestly, is just wonderful. Even his dramatic lines, of which there are admittedly few, and his comedic lines, which take up about 95% of his dialogue, is delivered perfectly. Like I said before, David Harbour as Hopper is really the only thing I like about the show Stranger Things, and I feel like in this movie he really gets the chance to cut loose. I think he's a great actor who's got dramatic ability, but also he's got some very strong comedic chops, and I hope we get to see more of him in projects in the future in movies like this, like action movies or comedies or even dramas to an extent. I think he's a very versatile actor, and I hope we get to see more of him in the future. I mentioned action movies specifically because I hope we get to see more of what he was doing in this movie. The action in this movie is some of the best I've seen. I keep saying this, but it's some of the best I've seen in a movie in a very long time, which of course is not that much of a surprise to me considering this is the guy that made Nobody. And when I saw Nobody, I thought, wow, this movie has some of the best action I've seen in a long time, but this takes it to a whole other level. David Harbour brings a very great sense of physicality to the role. Now, I was watching the movie, you know, in a dark theater with some friends. I wasn't really paying attention, looking for little flaws, looking for little mistakes. I wasn't looking for him using a stunt double, but I don't think he used a stunt double. He might have. He might not have, like I said, I wasn't looking for it, but it did not look like he was using a stunt double. And he does a lot of really cool stunts in this movie. 
Nothing too extreme, but something you could easily hurt yourself doing. And he seems to just completely buy into it. He's throwing himself into walls. He's doing, he's doing flips. All the actors are doing this crazy stuff. There's a lot of really cool action and stunts in this movie. It looks like people really get hurt. Like in Nobody, a lot of the fight scenes take, this is one of my favorite things that action movies can do, but they take so much from the environment the scene is set in. So much of the fights use the environment. It's not just two characters punching and kicking each other or shooting each other or hitting each other with weapons. They use the environment around them. There's a scene in the trailer and I'll try and show some of it without showing too much gore to get demonetized or whatever. But there's a scene, it's in the trailer, where Santa stabs one of the bad guys in the eye with one of the decorative stars that goes on the top of a Christmas tree. And that's really cool. It's in theme because, you know, it's obviously a Christmas movie. It takes use of the environment. It's brutal. It's a lot of fun. Uh, speaking of, there's a scene later on, and I won't use any details. I'm trying to be spoiler free and, of course, you know, short to the point here. But there's a scene where early on, it's established that the little girl character just saw the movie Home Alone. Now, on top of that, later on in the movie, there's a scene where she sets up a bunch of booby traps like Kevin McAllister does in Home Alone. Except this movie is much more realistic with what happens to the human body in case of an injury. So when these, when the two villains that get hit by the booby traps are hit by them, it's very, very brutal. And it's a lot of fun. It's a very goofy, campy scene. This movie almost seems like something Sam Raimi could have written in terms of how not seriously it takes itself. It's really, really fun. Now, in a movie like this, I'm not gonna put too much stock on the character development and the, the seriousness of the plot because that's not what any of us are watching Violent Night for, all right? It's not really about the characters or the plot or really what's happening, but more how it is happening. That being said, I think the characters were a highlight in this movie, most of them at least. The little girl character is wonderful. I love the actress who plays her. She did a great job. Um, hope to see her in more movies. She did a very, very great job. Very funny, you know, dramatic, and heartfelt when she needed to be she was great the two parent characters the dad was i kind of lost some liking for him about halfway through the movie but i think that was the point so i'm not going to hold too much against the character the writing or the actor in that case i think the actor for the father did a very good job but the mom i especially liked the mother character was a lot of fun to watch, especially near the end of the movie. She definitely grounded the story in a way that kind of worked. Because obviously this is a really absurd, over-the-top movie, but there needs to be something to ground it to some kind of reality so that the absurdity and over-the-topness of it has more impact. And I think that's the purpose of the mother character in this film. The character did a great job of that, and the actress did a wonderful job of that as well. My last point I really want to make is the villain. John Leguizamo plays our Hans Gruber character in in this movie and I think he does fan Fantastically. He does so well. He's chewing the scenery. He's giving lines as dramatically and loudly as possible. And in this kind of movie, that works so well. He is established pretty early on as being tough. He's like a presence. He's a scary presence in every scene he's in. And again, without spoiling too much, but obviously he's the villain. He's the bad guy. He's going to die at the end. His death scene is far more brutal than I was expecting it to be. And it was in a movie like this, this might sound like psychopathic, but it was delightful. It was a very welcome surprise. It feels weird to be calling a death delightful, but I, I think most of you will get what I mean. All in all, I really, really, really liked this movie. I hope this director keeps making more movies like it. I plan on seeing Bullet Train soon, and I might do another one of these videos for that. But uh, until then, violent night what would i rate it let's come up with a rating system on the fly uh should we use stars points uh tomato meter score no let's give it let's give it we'll, we'll go with stars for now i give violent night a four out of five stars i liked it a lot hope the director makes more i hope to see all these actors and more things and uh yeah this is a new kind of content, just improvised, just about unedited content. Uh, just me talking about a movie, obviously. I think it's this will allow me to talk about movies in a shorter form without having to you know, go crazy on the editing and spend weeks or months or however long working on it so I can put it out sooner. But you know, there's obviously a lot less structure to it, so we'll, we'll, we'll give it a shot. There might be more of these, there might not be. Um, we'll see how you, the lovely people, respond to it. In the meantime, got another video on the way, another long form video that I think is going to be really good. I think it's going to be really funny. Until then, I, I will, uh, outro. I will see you around. Yep.